I met someone who I thought would fill the void of love that I wanted filled inside my heart, but that didn't happen. I found myself on this path of destruction. Because when you are with someone that hurts you, not loves you, and all as we want is to be loved, then we start to uh, compensate for the pain. But we were both drug addicts by the end of it, and I didn't recognise what was really going on until I was too deep in it to rescue myself. And then I was too broken to pull myself out of it. And what happens is when you're so broken, you're filling up your pain with all of your drugs and all of your despair. And all of a sudden I just felt myself standing in what felt like a massive dome. And it was just this beautiful golden light shining straight into me and I could feel myself just being pulled and transported towards this lovely, beautiful light. And God said to me, bring it to your heart, Catherine, because that's the part of you that's hurting the most. And so then when I brought it to my heart and I thought about my broken heart, I realised, how did my heart get so broken? What did I let go of? that got me to this brokenness. Was it really me that got broken first or did that happen second? I looked up and I saw a picture of Jesus and I realised that it was me that broke God's heart. Humility is the key. In, a, in establishing right relations with Jesus and with God, we, we need humility to keep us in right relations so that we don't get ahead of ourselves and end up severing that relationship that we have with God. We do make mistakes. We do get things wrong. And so we do need his mercy, his love and mercy. But the solution is there. The solution is prayer, fidelity to God, love of Jesus, love of Mary. Mary will continue to be with the church, to protect the church, and she'll keep telling us, remember, stay with my son. Don't deviate at all but it's all preparation for the final coming. The triumph of Mary will coincide with the triumph of Christ and the kingdom of heaven.